Welcome back to Vintage Diecast Restoration. I have been traveling for work for a couple of weeks, so I've kind of gotten behind on posting new videos. So I've got a whole bunch in my mail call that uh, I need to get through and get opened. Uh, so up first, I've got an international. Um, this is from Australia, from Malcolm Ellen Ford. Um, looks like he's in Queensland. Um, I wanted to show all the stamps. So you can look at this. I really try not to buy international. Um, one, I know there's collectors in those countries that are looking for models. Um, and two, as you can see from the dollar amounts here, this cost over $20 to have this shipped uh, from Australia. And usually that's, uh, that's gonna break the deal for me because I'm gonna end up paying more in shipping than what the model is worth. Um, but for this model, I had to make an exception. Um, the only time that I will buy international is when it's something that's very hard for me to find. And this is one that I have been searching for for a while. Um, this is packed very well. So it's in bubble wrap and shredded paper in a box inside of another box. So thank you, Malcolm, for the superb packing job. You can see this is not a very big car. This is actually a pretty tiny little car, and that's because it is very old. So I have been searching for one of these for quite a while. Um, it seems like every, every time I find one, on eBay that is in pretty decent shape. Um, they are just crazy expensive. And this is one of the older models. So I, I don't find them in garage sales and antique stores and other easy to find places. Um, they don't come up on the auction sites or the Facebook pages very often. Uh, so I've been on the hunt for a long time for one of these. And because this is a restoration channel, I didn't want one that was all minty and fresh and new. I wanted one that I could do a restoration on, and this one certainly fits the bill. Um, as I said, I did have to pay up for shipping on this. Uh, that was only offset because I got this really cheap. Um, it's not in great shape. Uh, part of the casting here at the back, where that little uh, tab would have tucked under, um, is missing, and you can see the base is loose. Um, the axles are bent and uh, quite rusty, um, and so that's gonna need quite a bit of work, but it had most of the nuts and bolts, all the, the main pieces are there, um, and so I thought this fit the bill for a potential restoration really quite well, um, and because I was able to pick it up super cheap, um, that kind of offset the more expensive shipping to get it over here to me. Um, so watch for that on an upcoming uh, restoration video. Up next, got I a box. Open it. That's from uh, looks like Trenton, New Jersey. I can open it. What's in there, Mac? Ooh, cars. Are you sure? Two cars. A whole bunch of cars. It looks like. Hold up, hold up. Wow. Okay. I didn't know. So up first, this is the uh, Lincoln Continental. Um, I've got one of these. It's in pretty decent shape. Um, but I bought all of these in a, uh, a Facebook Live auction. Um, so these were kind of the, the beater cars, um, but I think I gave a buck or two bucks a piece for most of these. Um, some of these are just to uh, fill a hole uh, in my collection right now until I can find something nicer. Um, some of these may be uh, potential restoration candidates, but uh, like I said, when I can pick them up, a dollar, two dollars, um, I like to buy in bulk. Um, so that is the Lincoln Continental. Um, I also got a pair of the Jaguar MK10s. Um, and these are both pretty heavily play worn. You can see they're not in great shape. Um, but they do both have intact tow hooks. They got all their wheels and tires. They've got the, uh, the hood. If I can get it to open. There we go. The hood is intact on both of them. A lot of times you'll find those broken or missing. Um, and again, these are these are uh, models that 
I will probably do a restoration on. Um, these where I've got a pair of them, I might try to do one as an original and one as a custom. Um, that might be kind of neat to do the, the side-by-sides on those. I've got a uh, Fire Chief. This is the uh, Matchbox number 5559 Ford Galaxy. Um, I have one of these that's mint, that's in great shape, um, but I've, I haven't done a restoration on one. Uh, this one's missing the tow hook, and I uh, thought that that might be a nice little car to do up as well. And then um, these things, these are like rabbits. They've just been multiplying in my collection. Every time I come across one, I find that I can't leave it behind. Um, and so I've got multiples of all these different race cars, all these different colors. But this one had the, uh, the driver and the steering wheel intact on it. Um, I've got some restorations going on a few of these other ones. And uh, for what I, I think I paid a buck for this car. And I can't even order a replacement driver and steering wheel for a dollar. Um, so sometimes I'll buy these cars just to finish out other stuff I'm working on. It's got uh, four good wheels and tires on it. Paint is rough. Um, I don't know that I've, I've seen the number five on these. That might have been a, uh, a customization later. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I need to go back and look at my catalog and look at the numbers of my other cars, but I'm pretty sure I don't have a five. So that was another good one to pick up. And then last but not least, um, an Alvis Stallworth. This is the uh, BP Exploration Vehicle. Um, not super rare. I've got three or four of these in my collection. This one obviously is missing the graphic on this side. Um, this does not have the ribs in the bed. All my other models have ribs in the bed. So, you know, it's a variation I didn't have. It fills a hole. And uh, might be fun to do up as um, a restoration or even a custom. Um, we'll see. This, this, this is such a unique casting. It, it could be something really different, really neat. So, all good finds, and like I said, when I can get them for a dollar, two dollars a piece, um, that's how I really like to buy uh, my cars. All right, up next, I've got a box from Classic Eddie's in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. I believe he is one of the eBay sellers that I follow, um, which I'll share with you guys that that's another good strategy um, that has paid off well for me and that is uh, when I find a seller on eBay that's got um, you know really nice listing something that's really good car good piece um, I always like to see what their other options are and if they deal in a lot of matchbox I will follow that seller um, because usually people that have good stuff find good stuff will find more good stuff um, and so a lot of these sellers I end up uh, buying from repeatedly because uh, I've had a good experience. You know, these came very well wrapped, nice shipping, um, pretty true to the listing. Um, so that uh, Classic Eddie's, he's a, he's a good seller. I've purchased from him before. So when these came up, um, I knew I was getting probably a pretty nice model for that. So. This one up first here is, uh, I, I'm going to call it Near Mint. Um, it's the number 40 hay trailer. Um, it's got all the pieces. It's got two of the original um, fence pieces for the back. It's got just some very light edge wear, um, just right on this one edge over here. But other than that, paint is really nice. All the original wheels and tires are intact. Um, and I've got, I don't know, probably four or five of these at this point. Um, the reason that I bought in on this auction was actually to get this piece. Um, the seller had these two listed together. And uh, as I've gotten into doing a few more of the king size, this is one I didn't have. Um, I've been doing quite a few restorations of the tractors lately. Um, and I should be able to post those hopefully pretty soon here. But uh, this is the king size tractor, um, the Fordson mm. tractor. This is uh, king size number 11. And uh, this was just a really clean, really nice model. 
Um, all the paint looks great. The original tires here are still pretty tight on it. Um, it's got one little issue on the steering wheel here. You can see that one little spoke looks like it's uh, busted. And I think that that wheel probably just got pushed down. And I don't know if that's something that I can pull back up and try to repair or not. Um, but other than that, very light play wear on this. Um, it's in great shape and uh, kind of fills out the only tractor that I didn't have in the collection. So I was happy to pick that up and getting this nice little hay tractor or hay trailer with it was uh, just a bonus. So that's going to do it for us for this week. Um, thanks so much for tuning in and watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to click that like button. Comment below what you uh, enjoyed on the video. And uh, as always, don't forget to tune in next week for another episode of Vintage Diecast Restoration.